What is going on guys? My name is Roman Becky. I'm from Roman Reviews here and I'm going to be watching another episode of We Never Learn or Boku Ben episode 6 of season 2. Now, before I begin, I'd like to talk to you guys about a couple things that's been going on. And if you guys just want to skip to the reaction, oh, sorry, just got a notification on my windows. So I apologize for that. Um and if you guys want to skip to my reaction, go ahead, just skip ahead about a minute or so. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about just some stuff in my life that happens, or that had to happen. So Thursday when I made my Azure Lane video, I did explain or say that I was going to go try to make up some videos for Flashback Fridays and get back on it. And I haven't been able to do that, and I do apologize greatly. But as you guys have known, or I've been, uh, you guys not actually know, might not actually know, but for the last... I'd say maybe two weeks, me and my boss have been absolutely, completely dived into work, and we've been working crazy hour days, anywhere from the stereotypical 9 to 10 hours, to even uh, 12, 13, and even on one occasion, 14 hours a day. So that's over half an entire day, I was just spent doing work. And for the, basically what we've been doing, we've been setting up for Christmas, um, if you guys don't know, I work for, in it for a grocery store, I actually work for Kroger, which is a very big, I think it's actually the biggest grocery chain, grocery store chain, um, outside of Walmart across the United States. And I've been, and I've been just working crazy hours and I finally wrapped it up yesterday. Um, I worked, a, I worked an 11 and a half hour shift yesterday, went home, Eight and then did a couple things and then I just passed out. I just wasn't able to like record some videos and I do apologize for that even though I said I would. Um, but I was able to knock it out of the park. We've been working our ass off. We made it really good because we had corporate coming in a bunch of people. And it was actually kind of funny. My old my old previous boss who had went to another store, he actually was part of the part of the people who was in our store. And I worked my ass off knowing that this was he was gonna come over. And I basically worked my ass off to impress him because I hold that man, um, that my old boss into such a high amount of respect, um, because he's the one who trained me, um, even though he didn't train me for the position I'm in now, but he trained me in general for the department that I work in, and I hold a lot of respect and, uh, I guess you could say almost admiration for the guy, and the fact that he came over to me and he, he, like, shook my hand and was like, hey, you did a great job, man. And I guess all my hard work and heartache and tears and blood, literally blood because I, <laughs> I kept on cutting myself at work um, uh, in like just cuts and stuff from cleaning things or moving things around. And I think all that hard work paid off in the end because I got to see someone who I admired basically shake my hand and say, hey, you did a great job. And I'm like, yes. So... The good news is I don't have to have any heartache for the next month or so do from corporate because they were like, hey, guys, you did absolutely phenomenal. You guys look the best out of all, your, all the other departments in your store. So good job. And now that I'm going to now that me and my boss and aren't basically my team which is only <laughs> two other people. Um, now that we got the recognition and the realization that, hey, these guys are doing their job, they're knocked out of the park, we're basically good for a while. And thankfully, because of so much overtime, I had to, me and my boss had to take some time off to recover the hours we spent. So next week, I'll be a little bit busy um, because I'm going to have a, um, a lot of dogs over. I'm going to be house sitting. I'm going to have be house sitting some dogs um, for my parents. So I'm going to be busy a little bit on that. But for the most part, I'm going to be open for at least three days. Um, and then I think next week is going to be the same. I'm going to have three days off instead of the stereotypical two. So hopefully I can actually get around to doing some things. But anyways, guys, I that's enough talking. I am glad that I'm able to at least like at least relax now for a while. And I'm ready to jump into this episode, but I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with my life, and I know some people might have been wondering where the Flashback Friday series was, but I will continue it, don't worry. It just, I needed some time, and I really wanted to do it yesterday, but I just completely collapsed from exhaustion. Thankfully, I slept for, I think I slept for about 12 hours, uh, 11 hours today. Um, so I'm pretty, like, relaxed now. Haven't been able to sleep that long for a while. But anyways, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction. So, guys, without further ado, let's jump in to We Never Learned Boku Ben Season 2, Episode 6. Wherefore might they fathom the aspirations of the immediate ex? Now, we got to see in the thumbnail right here. I know it's a little bit blocked because of, you know, the image of, uh, Rizu. Um, but right here, right here, is a picture 
of best girl. And in fact, I have the Holy Bible, 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 however you want to pronounce it, right here in my hand. And I will bring it out when I need to. So without further ado, let's jump into episode 6, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. We're in another apartment, of course, trash. Oh god, you... Am I, I... I already had to hold it up. I already have to... Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Conclusion, you're best girl. I agree. Just keep on showing it. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> okay, again. Hold on. Turn off the music. Oh, already. We are in what? Not even 35 seconds in. We already get graced by best girl. And the Lord, Suya, uh, Sui, I forgot your name, <laughs> the author of the mangaka, I know you have a, I, I know your favorite girl is probably Fumino, but you have to listen to the fans sometimes, because I know you, I, I know you like Sensei too, but... We have the entirety of the manga users. It seems like, okay, like I said, manga readers, we kind of, we, we know a little bit more. Just how, like, Nina was best girl in Quintessential Quintuplets. Miku was not best girl. Yotsuba just kicked Miku's ass as in terms of best girl lately. But you wouldn't know that because you haven't read the manga. And am I, sound that, am I saying that manga readers are better than anime viewers? Not entirely. We just know things. And we know that Nino is best girl. And we know that Sensei is best girl. And Kominami is second best girl, by the way. <laughs> Alright, let's get it on. Let's see. Aren't they supposed to, like, you know, at least notify you about that? Fumino. No! Second best girl. And Chad Yuki. Are we gonna- we're getting a bad scene? Wait a second! Isn't this the OVA? <laughs> oh man, the two best girls! <sighs> You say that now. You say that now. <laughs> Please don't be running around naked. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. I'm just... Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. What is up with this show, man? You gave me the massage episode, and now you give me the bath episode. Speaking of which, I heard the OVA. I need to watch the OVA. I will. Not much to talk about. <laughs> it's worth saying that I know he, she always says Kohai, but I'm surprised they don't just write Kohai. But then said they put Junior.
It's because he's... Cause, yeah, he's a good guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't think anyone really knows except even now. No, I think they know now. Possibly. Yeah. I've always wanted to go into a sauna, by the way. Bucket, move. Move, Bucket. Wait, you're supposed to? That water censorship, though. Wait, why? Wait, it, like, let me. Uh, if you actually know about that, why is that the case? I, I know, because I know. Uh, well, I know you're supposed to, like, wash before you go into a hot spring. So this isn't the hot spring, this is just a bath, of course. Is that the... Oh, no. I don't know how to do that. I really don't know how to do that. No, not November. It's really hard, man. Me too. You know what's sad, though? Like, in terms of, like... Who best girl between Nino and Sensei? Purely out of how they're set up in terms of like jobs and shit, I would have to pick Sensei because she has a job. She can she can support herself in the small way. Thank you, Soap, for being there. Soap, why? Why? Why would you do this? Oh, because they're all old people, so process of elimination. You lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at it. Look at Asami. <laughs> you got the princess carry, man. It really is dangerous. You lucky son of a bitch. I'll give you that. The amount of sensei service we're getting. I'm claiming it. It's This is sensei service. It's not fan service. It's sensei service. It's so good. Just take it in. <laughs> oh man, I love this. By the way, I do realize there's no sound. I do apologize. 
But it's due to like um there was a setting issue. I just realized it by the way, so I do apologize. But Maybe if I turn up on my headphones you can let I'm just going to turn loud enough so maybe you can hear it on my headphones. Maybe. She's so good. She's so good. Yes. <laughs> oh no he still they still have they still have the underwear Jesus, and the kids still have them. Oh no, he's mad. <laughs> oh man. Really? 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 It's Kirisu. <laughs> oh, those eyes, though. Is, are we are we gonna get the r retribution? Didn't that just recently happen? No, there's so there's no way. No, there's no way. However, Dang, I, uh, she, it's sad because she also makes sense. I, okay, you know what, I do think we'll, we'll get Fumino's, like, backstory with her mother and the father. But we haven't seen the father yet. Although, granted, I think that they sh he gets introduced during the arc, if I'm correct. However, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I love her. Not enough. <laughs> the re and like for the manga re for the anime viewers only, the reason she's like this it does explain it, it is <laughs> Oh no Fumino's fucking dead. <laughs> but no, like her backstory explains why she's like this and it actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Farage isn't even an original form. <laughs> Your assessment's next. My job is to become your husband. Yeah, that one actually that actually wouldn't work. In the manga, might would though. I'm also slouching my back, so so. It's fucking beautiful. It's bringing tears to my ass, man. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. I ain't gonna die a happy man. That noise was a little bit more risque than I wanted. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> Surviving property. <laughs> He does have a shrimp, though. Excuse me. Mate.
Actually, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I, if someone was like, although I kind of admitted to myself that I do know that I don't really know what I want. Like, if I was in this position, I'd be the same exact way. She is a goddess. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean. You would have failed. <laughs> is she gonna look like a devil now? Oh god, are you gonna put in a devil outfit? Okay. I'm fine with that too. But think about it, she wouldn't have done that normally. That line right there is so goddamn true when it, especially to me. For like example, I don't f like what is my strength in the world? I couldn't really give you an answer. That's the sad part. And like, sorry, I know my hair is a mess. I've had a hat on. I've been cleaning. <laughs> but in all honesty, like, if I were to have, like, a strength in the world, I guess, like, and I don't want to use the, like, subverted and, like, the perverted uh, meaning because it's so overused, but hard worker. Anyone can say that. But, I mean, in all honesty, like, if, you, if I had to pick anything and if I couldn't pick hard worker or, I guess, loyal to a fault, because I've been with the company for, my company for so long, even though I could really do better. I don't know, like, I wouldn't know what the fuck my strength is. And that's something that I feel like is very underrated. Because it's so goddamn true. Adults... Unless, like, you're very laser focused. And there are, pe there are plenty of people who are, are out there who are like that, don't get me wrong. But I know a lot of people at the same time who are the same way. They don't know, they don't know what their damn strength is. And that's okay. You don't need to know what you're like. You're the fantastic, and you have that set goal, and you need all of this and that. Hold on. Just studying. <laughs> she wants to prove him wrong. I don't know if it would be a strength. It just, I, I, per, me personally, I see it as just a fact of life, of my own personal life. Like, hey, we're getting more Seki Joe. Awesome. I'm fine with that. Again, I do apologize that there's no sound on this one. Um, normally, like as per usual, um, I have it set up so you guys can hear just slightly. Um, the main reason why I wasn't able to add sound was because... So this headset is very old. I need to get a new one eventually. When I when it dies, but randomly it'll have a uh, a thing where one of the heads, one of the sides of the headphones does it d isn't working, so I can only hear out of my right ear or my left ear. So I'll unplug it and plug it back in. If I do that while my OBS is on or at least up, it'll turn off the sound for some reason. Um, so I would need to relaunch it, but I I totally forgot about that, and so I I started recording. and It was already like what eight minutes into the actual show when I was like, oh shit, I realized that. So I do apologize, but eh, in all honesty, you really need to like turn up the volume to even hear it in the first place. Um, but yeah, copyright reasons again. But I want to say that that last line really stands out. Because, like I said, and I was saying this at near the end, you don't, a lot of people don't know what they want to do. Like, and uh, and if you find out what you want to do, it's, it's you're not going to, most of the time, you're not going to know when you're a kid. 
my brother, he's been doing his job, although granted, I, I wouldn't say it's what he loves, but he, it is what he does. He does his job, and he didn't go to school for what he wanted to do, or what he's doing right now. He has, in fact, the field he's in doesn't even require, and the field he's in, and the, uh, and the, oh god, what's it, the uh, degree, the degrees that he has don't even match. They're completely opposite. So he works in IT, and he has stuff that deals with psychology and, um, and business. I think the only thing that, well, business is, can be used basically anywhere. It's a universal degree. But, in all honesty, I don't, I still don't know what I want to do. I'm only doing what I'm doing because I'm comfortable doing it. And sure, people can claim that as a weakness. Like, people who are completely motivated and driven, they can see that as a weakness. And I completely understand why. I don't see it like that simply because I think a lot of people don't know what they want to do. Or they don't have the answers. Or they don't know what their specific strength in a certain thing is. And that's okay. I guess I'm hard-headed <laughs> so that's one of my strengths if you can even call that a strength but it is what it is but anyways guys i actually really enjoyed that last line because we got the fan service in the first part of the episode but then we kind of got into the whole more serious side of things near the end and i felt like that was really i really enjoyed that and it brought up a really good question because that that's question can be applied to a lot of people and some people might not know what their strength is. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. Because like she even said, some adults don't even know themselves. I'm 24 years old. And I still don't know. And I probably won't know. But I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I'll keep doing what I know, I know that I'm good at. And it might not be a strength. It might be a strength. I don't know. I don't know if it's a strength. But as long as you keep on trugging through... And doing the right thing, I guess you could say. And just doing your best at what you're doing. That's all you can say. And as long as you do your best, don't let anyone else say anything else. I don't know why I'm <laughs> going into like almost like a uh, philosophical or something talk like that. But yeah, it is what it is. I, I just wanted to like... I just kind of made that connection. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I can start relaxing and i do really want to make edited videos by the way for, for, for those that are still watching what are really good video editing programs because i'm not going to use sony vegas anymore i kind of only use sony vegas for like making thumbnails even though i can use other programs that would be better but what are really good video editing things that are easy to use sure it can be complex but as long as it's like relatively easy to use let me know because i kind of want to like start experimenting because when i eventually go back to doing edited videos and such like that i want to be able to use something that's relatively easy and something that i know a lot of people use a certain program i don't know what it is but a lot of people like i don't know if it's it's like a movie maker and it's not windows movie maker but um i forgot what it is but yeah anyways guys i'm gonna go head off now i'm going i've been going on for too long i've been recording for oh, almost 34 minutes so yeah i'm gonna go wrap it up now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time see ya